fed up Fairpoint communications workers uh, hit the streets today for some informational picketing. They say they are trying to educate customers about the roadblocks that they have faced during contract negotiations. WMTW News 8's Morgan Sturdivan joins us now live in the studio with the story. Morgan. Union employees at Fairpoint Communications continue to be at odds with management surrounding contract negotiations. Fairness at Fairpoint is the mantra of the unhappy union workers. They say it's a sad testament that a company like Fairpoint would enter the market and not hold up their end of the deal when they initially promised new jobs. They promised 625 good jobs in, in all three states, actually, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont. That has not happened. And now not only did they not add the jobs, but now they want to outsource them and, um, and uh, send them out to contractors, whether it be um, outside workers or call centers. Negotiations didn't meet a deadline earlier this month between union leaders and Fairpoint, who say they are looking to make necessary technical advances in the industry. Union leaders say they're still far apart when it comes to an agreement. The company has, has proven to us that they are not willing to be flexible. They've been incredibly antagonistic. Um, it appears to us they're not looking to get a contract. It appears, you know, in our personal opinions, they're gearing up for another sale. In a statement from Fairpoint, they said, at present, the parties remain far apart. Our main goal in these negotiations is to bring the contract into the norms of the 21st century and reflect the competitive reality of today's telecom marketplace versus the monopoly environment of days gone by. Health benefits are also an issue between the two. The company says they shouldn't be paying 100% of employees' health premiums. We're not asking for anything. Um, we just want to keep what we have. And contract negotiations are set to resume tomorrow morning, and picketers say they'll be out there again. Live in the studio, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8.